Good evening, YouTubians. It is I, Geiger T Rat, a third episode of Hypovolmia, uh, with my cohort uh, Paul Paradox. Let's go yeah. ahead and. Uh, so, what do we have today? Let's see. Uh, in the book. Oh well, hmm? I made a furnace-looking thing. Okay. In the book, it looks like we've got at least two uh, two quests complete. Uh, melting it down, which is the induction crucible furnace, and the metal caster. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and get a permanent altar out there that can be expanded. Um, that'll be a little yes, closer. I'm laying down. A little closer. I am laying down fifty cents. Yes, a little closer to the river of blood, as it were. Um, let's see here. There. Okay. And as you can see, I went ahead and made something. Oh, let's see here. I need seven, eight. Okay, so it looks like I still need four. Oh, there they are. And there we go. So as you can see, six stone and two blank slates. The blank slates are made like that. One stone and a thousand LP will get you a blank rune. And if you put it in this pattern, you get the blood runes. Now what they can do is bring the altar from tier one to tier two. Uh, so we got 4,000 LP in there. Really don't want to waste it. Let me see if there's anything I can throw in there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the last of our our skulls in there just to have something to to upgrade, as it were. But um, so as you notice, we have this thing here. This is the altar diviner. It can be used to pull things out of the altar automatically. A little bit of altar automation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and submit that in the book. Let's see. And I'm going to get... Ooh, uh, ha, ha. Yes. Oh, yeah. Which of the bushes did you grab? Uh, which of the bushes? Oh, um, let's see here. For casting. Uh, for casting, let's see. Uh, what did you get? I didn't grab any. Um, we could get different yeah, ones. Yeah, you get... Uh, you just grab... Which one do you want to grab? I think I'll grab... Um, okay, iron? I'll grab... Copper. And then... <laughs> oh, so many laughs. Yes, I actually saw a comment from one of the creators saying that they might go ahead and knock the, the sound down by 30. I suggested... Uh, a bit of a, a shortening to the laugh too, but uh, okay. So I've got uh, the casting thing set up, and if you go outside, we see that things have changed a little. Paul is putting down a wall so that we can have a bit of an outside enclosure without the worry of uh, mobs snuffing out our life a little early. Um, so let's go ahead and run back to the altar and see about setting it up in a more permanent location. So I'm going to go ahead. And we won't stop the spiders, by the way. No, but we actually kind of want spiders right now. It's we're we have like no no beds, so we're still stuck going through every night, as it were. So let's go over here and place down our altar and our eight blood runes, and there. And if you look now that I uh. Hmm. That's it's a little uh, odd. If you see up at the top, it says that the tier is still zero, which is uh, a bit of a glitch. But if I use the altar diviner, tier two. So that's that. And let's go ahead and put the rest of the bits and bobs on it. Let's see. There and there. I believe that it can uh, can take in LP from the side. Let's find out real quick. Taking a brief moment to expand on the cross. Ah, yeah, that's uh, something that the audience is unaware of currently. Let's see here. Okay, is that filling? Looks like that is not. So I'm going to have to put this back the way I had it before. So... Nope. We could use two okay, feel free to go ahead and, and well. make some. Uh, there. 
Okay, and it, oh, I forgot to, to do that. Well, I think it looks better like this anyways. So that's slowly filling the internal buffer before... before it'll start showing up in the actual reservoir, but... Okay, so let's put a few buckets in this. Oh, that back. And so, what have you been up to, Paul, since we last played? Um, a lot of random things, hmm. but nothing really in here, I guess. Um, I made... Uh, together, we made mm -hmm. the farm room. Um, here, I'm making the crossbreeding room, which, once again, still needs, I guess, one torch. I'll mm -hmm. get on that. Well, actually, I do have six extra torches extra. on me. Um, I can throw that at you in just a second. I was just refilling the altar a bit. Um, still... Hmm? Actually, it seems like there aren't any red X's in here, so I can take my... Okay. Sure I might actually just use them to kind of get rid of some of the darkness out here. Okay, so let's see what else uh, we can we can what uh, blah, 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 what other sort of trouble we can get into right now. Um, so we're going to need to set up another room for metal casting, according to what the book's saying. So let's go ahead and grab those two things that we made. See where are they? There. Got one. And where did the other one go? Am I just blind? Uh the Oh, do I have it? No big deal. Yeah, I have it. I'm sorry. Uh oh, and I've got another altar divider. Uh I'll just put that up for now. Oh, as do I. Uh you know how one tends yes. to hold on. Uh, to I'll go ahead stuff. and make a, a a room for for the metal casting. Um, the thing is, is it's going to need power, so we're going to need to supply. Uh, um, we could. Yeah. We have the so, blood dynamo. Things. Um, I might make a room real quick, uh, just near-ish to the altar. Let me grab some red rock. Let's see, I'll grab like a stack. Oh, actually, I had it next to a door. Right there. Perfect. Okay, so. Nice, uh, it's starting to fall pretty quick. We're going to have to yep. light up our plane sooner Let's than Let's see, um, let me go ahead and grab uh, some torch material real quick so that we can make sure that we have a place that's safe. Okay, um... Well, let's see here. Okay, there's some... That... The problem is, is that the altar is now out here, so I gotta walk back. So, if you've noticed, our uh, food supply is running a little low. Uh, we're gonna need to get some form of food besides apples pretty quickly. Let me go ahead and do this. And I think we probably could use... Let's see. I'm just going to have to throw these on the ground for now. Just don't have any room. Okay. And we're going to make a crafting bench near the altar, just because it will become in useful later. Oh, that's right. Got to use bones. Well, darn. Um... Yeah, oh, you yeah. Try to make a crafting bench the normal way. Okay, well I've got half a stack of torches now, so go ahead and see. Put that one there. I'll put one there, and just go ahead and copy this one. See, this one's right there, and there, one there. Let's get all this place lit up, so. To deal with mobs in the future. Yep, I have 24 torches. I'll be right okay. out. Well, you're to probably going to end up moving what I'm doing. I'm just putting them kind of peppered on the ground. But, uh, yeah, I heard that it's going to snow tomorrow. What do you think about snow, uh, Paul? 
And like snow, for the most part, it would be mm. nice if it stayed off the roads, but um, that aside, it's a uh, uh, pretty nice I'm a, I'm a fan of the snow. I uh, actually grew up in uh, a southern U.S. state, so I uh, have an unfortunate experience uh, with the lack of snow, which is something that uh, I enjoy quite a bit. Uh, people where I'm currently living are a big fan normally of snow, but... Uh, that just happens. But anyway, so we've got uh, this place lit up reasonably well. I might go ahead and put the uh, the room, like, right... Actually, I really don't even need a room. I guess I could just flop this down for now until we get this place done a little better. What we're really going to need is uh, some sort of power cables. For now, I can just shove the... Could you grab me the, the two... Yeah, grab me the power cables oh, and the dynamos. Power cables. Do you want me to grab them? I will grab them while I'm in here if I can find them. There you go. We'll huh. have an extra. We'll, we'll have to come um, up with a good use for that. Visible. Okay, so. Uh. uh where exactly you did. are you out here? Oh, I I'm think right. I ran past you. So let's see here. I've got the this table for now. I'm just going to store this red rock in there, and let's see, metal caster and the induction crucible furnace. Put one there, and up the other, just like that. There you go. Is three okay, of these dynamos, 12 universal cables. Yep. Everything okay, you need I'll to turn blood do into it just like uh, just like this. I'll make a line of them. Let's see, where do they go? There they are. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, and if you notice, they're pointing up. Um, to get them to turn the way you want, just shift or uh, just right click, and that'll move the position of the engines. Now we are missing one thing to get this, uh, well actually a number of things, but one thing in particular to get this to work correctly. And for that, we are going to need three levers. So let's see if we can find some cobblestone. And... Oh, oh yeah, I mined a bunch. Re oh, actually I have a bunch on me. That's okay, I have some on me. Me and all um, resources. I am so sorry. Okay, let's oh, go over oh, here sorry. and get a little more wood. One cable I see so. picked up. And there are factory hoppers okay. that I appear to have on Let's me. go ahead and make some of the levers. Get back here. And all we need now is to put some uh, life essence into these machines. So I have the buckets on me. Let's go ahead and grab a few buckets. Uh, we'll, we'll come up with a more permanent uh, automatic solution for this in the long run. So those who are savvy to blood magic uh, might already see what I'm trying to do with the uh, the next row of rooms. I already kind of okay. Have it set so up to that is uh, is going just fine. But if you notice. This is uh, filling up with heat. This is actually going to end up being a a uh, energy dump. So I'm actually going to disconnect for now this particular machine just so that uh, we don't have a power drain because we don't have automatic feeding of power just yet. So the refactory hopper, that's an interesting little device. Oh, another one right there. I'll just store that one. Um, but what we're going to need, let's look at the book. Huh. The yes. next thing the book seems to want is uh, item translocators. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got a quest which finished in uh, make apart from the more offerings. Ah, okay. Go ahead. And... Uh -huh. Oh, he 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 he. Ha 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 ha. He 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 he. Rituals need blocks set up in specific patterns. Best there's also a text in the that's SPD trying to tell us stuff. For rituals, there is also a ritual diviner available. 
You can choose your ritual and click the master stone with it and it will build the ritual for you, assuming you have everything needed in your inventory. Summoning, on the other hand, is again a new tiered multi mm -hmm. that you need to build on your own. Once yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take these iron uh, canisters over here for now. Let's see. There. And I think that we'll still need some way of transferring over. Uh, hey, uh, yeah. Okay. Molten iron. And, iron. Okay. So. We're gonna need something to transfer the uh, the molten iron, uh, and one of those is gonna be is a refractory fluid canister. So we need two tin, tin. Hmm. Um. Oh, we do have tin. Okay. And I believe two of the refractory bricks. So let's go ahead and over here. Uh, I don't think I showed you guys. I made a bit of a indoor greenhouse minus the the glass as mm -hmm. yes as well as uh, this will be for oh. crossbreeding because you can actually can get different tractor, seeds yes. by crossbreeding two plants together let's see here um what else I think we do need right now is we need to get some Mimic Minico essence, and to do that, we're going to need to upgrade the cooked stone. Uh, sure. I'll go throw them on the ground right here. There's two Can aluminum I have any and, and one copper. Have on you? Okay. Go ahead and fill this right, back up. I really wish there was a way ah, that we could automate putting blood on the altar. Okay, so right. the use of red rock stone. Yes. See, we can make some nice looking brick. We might do that later. And on a tier 2 altar, a thousand LP equals one Minico essence. So, okay, this is at 10,000. So all we need to do is shove that'll automatically feed and once it's done 8000 we'll have the essence so while that's cooking let's see about getting this up to uh, a better state let's go ahead and make a couple of those uh, canisters so we can transfer some li liquid iron over the fact is as sad as it is we need the canister more than we need uh, or we need the, the tank more than we need molten iron right now, so we're going to need some glass, and this is something that you may not have seen in the previous episode. Well, I've got four, I've got four, uh, I'm going to need, let's see here, how many am I going to need? To make glass panes, you need six glass. So there's no other way? No. Okay. To make glass, you're actually going to need sandstone. Now, I've got five uh, dirt on me. But what I need is, let's see, do we have, there's one glass, so that'd be six. Oh, yeah, that'll be enough then. Okay, let's go ahead and transmute uh, this. Also see how this is doing. Okay, it's at the 3,000 level, so as soon as it hits, oh, there we go. And there is our Minico Essence. Let's go ahead and put in that dirt. Let's see. And that will upgrade into, let's see, gravel and then sand. So go ahead and let that process. So you can see on the top of the screen, these, tra these small transmutations uh, are uh, at least balanced with the input of the 20 millibuckets from the, the tank above. So We'll come back in just a second. Let's see. Now that we have eight essence, I believe we've completed a quest. And we have. We have can finally get started in agri-craft. Uh, and we'll get some actual seeds. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Laugh, 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 laugh. <laughs> so, 
one sec. Make a little bit of crotch sticks for the month of me. Uh, three. It's enough to... Uh, I'll put it over here for now. Make one of that, and then what we want to do is let's go ahead and use one of those seeds to make us there a Minico seed, which may have been another quest. Let's see. Yes, it was. Okay, those plants look strange and behave strange. They seem to have some type of uh, hierarchy, and this one seems to be uh, seems to be like me at the bottom. So. We get some magic fertilizer for that. And the one seed. So what I'm going to do is I'll plant this one. Could be. And a regular wheat seed. And we're going to need a lot of wood. So let's show you here. Um, let's go ahead and... Cut down this tree. It's nice how many saplings you get. Um, there. Uh, what you can do is, uh, if you start running really low on food, I've got one sapling on me. Let me see if I can get one more, and I'll show you a way you can do if uh, you're running just too low on food and you need food desperately. Could you go ahead and grab the sand out for me, please? Oh, it looks like your sand's mostly ready. Oh, huh, it's in groups. Oh, now, now I'm okay. grabbing cobble. Um, okay, so you made cobble? I'm lagging, I think. Oh, I'm grabbing so I needed cobble five, uh, and it back in. five sand, so that's going to be yeah, a little problem. Yeah, I'm having some lag issues. Oh, okay, so I'll show you what I you can do. If you put in one in sapling, I am having it'll immediately turn machines. into an apple. So you have eight apples, and I click that, I've got nine. A bit of a glitch showing up, but uh, yeah, plenty of uh, apples to keep you going as long as you continually cut down trees. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to need to get a few more. Oh, we've got a big tree. Okay, let's see if yep, we can get past this wall. We'll go grab uh, a few skulls and see about uh, getting that refractory case open. Okay, there's two. So we might have enough with just this right here. What we really could use is some fire seeds, but uh, if we look at fire seeds, they require that you have 50,000 LP, which we just don't have the capacity for. And even though there's two of us, uh, we just don't have enough region to easily fill that. So let me go ouch. Okay. So go and fill up the altar There's five and actually just gonna have to cut myself one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and I'll grab some more LP should easily take care of that. So there's the dirt, so we just need it to go through two more transport uh, transmutations. Um, let's see what else we can do real quick. Um, let's see, fertilized soil. So we might be able to get this to grow in fertilized soil, make it be a little faster. And a, an Accio furnace. Hmm. So we need Accio. I'm actually going to wait around this time. Let's see what else we can do. Okay. Um, we need the Orb of Power Tier 2, but for that we're going to need quite a lot. Because if I look it up... 
Oh, actually, no, you don't. It's just uh, a block of iron and 12,000 LP. That's that's doable. That's just an extra 2,000. Okay, so let's see about making that. And let's see here. What else can we do? Um... I'd like to get started on witchcraft, but uh, I believe, yeah, this isn't really a, a completed quest line just yet. Also, it looks like everything's currently locked, so we're going to have to figure out how to unlock that. But it looks like uh, we're pretty much out of time, so we're going to go ahead and, and end the episode here. So, bye. Right. So, thank you for watching. Liked if you liked. If you really liked, subscribe. And I will see you next Bye, time. Bye, people. Bye. Okay. Give that a second to save.